Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this uh, 4MCAD training course and uh, this is the last lesson of this course. Um, we call it uh, programming in 4MCAD. Um, before I, I, I tell you some uh, ideas and some uh, conclusions about this course let me speak about uh, this topic so um, we can uh, have another way to customize the program besides uh, the topics we've been seeing in these past lessons and the idea here is to add custom programs uh, written in any of the several programming languages that uh, we can run uh, within uh, ForMCAD, and we have the Lisp language. Uh, you may you may have heard already the Auto Lisp in AutoCAD, so this is a common language. Uh, VBA or Visual Basic, or the ADS. Um, we can first to manage these uh, commands. These uh, uh, customization that uh, we can do uh, we can load this under the tools load application and we can select the files so we have uh, a couple of possibilities so uh, sts it's a dll uh, the lisp and uh, another lisp besides uh, the the vba that we can also uh, run here uh, the VBA is a little different because the VBA has its own uh, editor. So we can go to the VBA under here. Uh, we can load the VBA project and we have a special environment for this VBA. So we have the macros and so on. Um, two particular notes that uh, are for the ADS applications. Um, and the ADS applications that uh, you may see, uh, I will open them again. Um, the tools and the load application. Load application. Uh, when we make this, you see that we have one of these is the SDS application. SDS, ADS. Um, the idea is that uh, uh, we can write these AutoCAD applications in, in C or C++ uh, and uh, Auto, uh, Autodesk users, uh, speaking about uh, AutoCAD, uh, they use something called the ADS, which is uh, an environment that, has the, that Autodesk has that is called uh, AutoCAD Development System. Um, this uh, basically provides uh, access to library uh, specific function, functions of uh, AutoCAD uh, and for sure drawing data because we are writing functions to deal with the data created under this drawing environment. Uh, in this particular uh, program for MCAD, we have a, a, an equivalent that is called FTS. Uh, that translated is the 4MCAD development system. But basically it is the same. The idea today is not to uh, make you uh, uh, a lesson teaching to program because this is a very specific uh, topic and, uh, and it's out of the range uh, or the purpose that we have for uh, this kind of lesson. So, we have other materials that you may request or ask us if you're interested in developing this kind of uh, applications. For last, I must talk to you about also uh, of something called the DCL language or dialogue control language. Um, this is uh, um, a very simple uh, language and uh, this language uh, enables programmers uh, in AutoLisp and uh, Visual list because we have the, the two uh, possibilities to create uh, specific dialog boxes that can be integrated uh, on those routines. Um, this is because uh, without this DCL language, 
uh, we could only uh, make inputs from the command line okay uh, I will not show you any particular things because uh, to show you uh, something uh, it was programming and uh, it's not the purpose of this lesson it's too complex and too deep to show in two or three minutes but again if you need more explanations or more things ask us for other materials we have uh, something to share out of the range of this lesson and uh, with these informations uh, let me uh, say goodbye of, uh, of you uh, in this uh, in this course i hope that um, all of you in this uh, course uh, had the opportunity to uh, learn something with these lessons uh, i mentioned several times that we have a theoretical course uh, that complements these uh, video lessons these are most of the time uh, a resume of what you can find in the in the theoretical part um, and uh, this theoretical part give you some base uh, that it's not possible to show here uh, again and for the last time let me uh, say again that uh, for all questions you may have and uh, all help you may need uh, you can send us an email or place a comment uh, under the video and uh, we we are here to help you in uh, all that we can okay so uh, let me say goodbye in the future for uh, future uh, versions of the software we will have also updates for these uh, videos and for this training course and again it was a pleasure to be with you for uh, all these lessons and uh, anything uh, you know how to reach us uh, help us uh, in, in, in making some some comments and to interact a little with us because that is what uh, we would like to see and to check from your side that there is someone that needs uh, these videos and someone that uh, takes uh, some something out of these uh, of these informations that we are sharing here so see you all